I'm Wes from Recommended Playing, and this video will cover all of the mall PP bonuses available in Dead Rising. These PP bonuses are quick, extra ways to generate some early levels in Dead Rising. They are unique, and can only be done once per playthrough. It's worth doing these at the start of a new game to quickly overcome the hurdles of a low level Frank. These bonuses are not available in Infinity Mode. This is because Frank's PP bar is locked and cannot be raised for any reason. Let's start off with the Giant Surf Bot. This is found in Paradise Plaza at the Child's Play Toy Store. This is very easy to get right at the start of the game. After leaving the warehouse, simply turn to your right and it'll be on the left side. To get this PP bonus, you need to rotate the Surf Bot's head to align the eyes. This can be done with weapons, but you can easily overshoot the target. Frank's fists rotate it slowly, and you can use it to fine-tune the head to line it up with the mouth. Once you fully align the head, you'll get 10,000 bonus PP for the trouble. As a nice little bonus, this Surfbot statue also has a PP sticker. You can quickly snap a photograph of this for up to 1,000 PP. This is a valuable start to any playthrough of Dead Rising. Next up is the plates in Chris's Fine Foods in the food court. This is best done after dealing with Carlito. You can deal with Carlito easily by picking up a shotgun during the introduction, or by making a beeline to the hunting shack on day one. You should be able to get there before Cletus spawns if you're fast. A couple of blasts with the shotgun and Carlito's done. There are 18 plates that can be broken for 1000 PP each. Once you've broken all 18 plates, you'll get an additional 10,000 PP for a total of 28,000 PP. Breaking these plates requires some kind of ranged weapon. Conveniently, there's an SMG right above the entrance to Chris's Fine Foods. If you ended up using the SMG on Carlito or run out of ammo for any reason, you can quickly mix a Spitfire in Frozen Dreams and consume it. This just requires the two ice pops on the ground. Then you can have Frank use his super-powered spit to break the plates. This is a fast and very easy 28,000 PP. You should do this the first time you're in the food court for every single new playthrough. The next PP bonuses are in Flexin, which is the gym in Alfresca Plaza. It's to your right immediately after entering Alfresca from the food court side. There's two sets of PP bonuses here. First up are the treadmills. There are 6 treadmills in Flexin, and running on them for a while will give you 2,000 PP each for a total of 12,000 PP. Once you've ran on the 6th and final treadmill, you'll get an additional 10,000 PP for a total of 22,000 PP. The next PP bonus you can get in Flexin are from the 4 sandbags. You can smash each sandbag for 2,000 PP. This is best done with a dumbbell nearby to speed up the process versus with Frank's fists. Frank's fists take a long time. Smashing all four sandbags will net you another 10,000 PP for a total of 18,000 PP. For doing all of the activities in Flexin, you'll get 40,000 PP. This is very substantial at a low level. Next up is in the entrance plaza. There are four spinning racks for a rack spinning bonus. The first two racks are on the second level in Shooting Star Sporting Goods. You'll need to use strong attacks to keep the momentum up for a bonus. It's quite difficult for Frank to do this barehanded, but it goes by easily with a weapon. You should only need a few attacks to get it. Spin the first two racks on the second level, and then jump down and head to Jason Wayne's Sporting Goods as you head south through the entrance plaza. The racks are on the right side. Spin these and you'll be done. Spinning each rack will get you 2,000 PP for a total of 8,000 for spinning the racks. You'll also get a 10,000 PP bonus for spinning all of the racks. You'll get 18,000 PP for completing this PP bonus. The next PP bonus is in Wonderland Plaza. This is the very prominent Space Rider. All you need to do is jump onto the Space Rider and ride it to completion for 10,000 bonus PP. You do have to keep in mind that the Space Rider shuts off during the night, so you can only do the ride and get the bonus in the morning and afternoon while the power's on in the mall. Doesn't matter what day it is, but it has to be running for you to ride it. Just be a little careful when jumping on. You can get thrown around pretty easily. Otherwise, it's a free 10,000 PP sometime when you're in Wonderland Plaza. The next available PP bonuses are from heating up frying pans on stoves. There is almost always a frying pan nearby for each of these stoves. There are 5 stoves to use and each one gives you 2000 PP. 
The first two stoves are in Paradise Plaza. First up is in Colombian Roastmasters on the second level. Grab the frying pan on the ground and use it on the nearby stove. Next is in Jill's Sandwiches on the first level. Head to the back of the store and put the frying pan from the counter on the stove for the second 2000 PP. The next two stoves are in the food court. The first is in That's a Spicy Meatball. It's on the right side if you're entering from the Leisure Park side. Run here and grab a frying pan and then head to the kitchen area and use the stove. Then you need to grab the second frying pan and head to Chris's Fine Foods. There isn't a second frying pan in Chris's Fine Foods for you to use, so make sure that you pick it up and head over there. Cross the food court and collect another 2000 PP by using the stove. The fifth and final stove is in Colombian Roastmasters Cafe in Alfresca Plaza. Head inside, grab the frying pan off the ground and place it on the nearby stove. You'll get the 2000 PP for the fifth stove and the final bonus of 10,000 PP for a total of 20,000 PP. One final note here, once you've heated up a frying pan you can actually use it as a weapon. You can hold the attack button to sizzle a zombie's face. This is worth 100 PP per zombie kill and can be done until the pan breaks. This is repeatable and you can heat up as many pans as you like, but you'll only get the PP bonuses once per playthrough. The cooked in oven PP bonuses are by far the most clunky to get. You'll need to get raw meat or frozen pizza from Sion's Food and Stuff and carry it to one of the ovens in the mall. There are 9 total ovens and each one used gives you 2000 PP. With limited inventory at low level, this means you'll likely need to take multiple trips to Sion's Food and Stuff to complete all of the bonuses. After stocking up, you'll want to head to the ovens. The most ovens are in the food court, to no one's surprise. Start by heading to That's a Spicy Meatball and using the oven there for 2000 PP. Next, you can head to Chris's Fine Foods and use the second oven there for 2000 PP. The main rotunda area of the food court has more ovens. In Teresa's Oven Pizza, you should use the oven for 2000 PP. Then you can head next door to Jade Paradise to use another oven. Next up is Meaty's Burgers and there's yet another oven you can use. Finally, you can hit up Central Tacos for the last oven in the food court. In Alfresca Plaza, there's an oven in Colombian Roastmasters Cafe and you should use another meat or pizza on it for 2000 PP. The second oven in Alfresca Plaza is in Hamburger Fiefdom. This one's a little hard to spot, you gotta go all the way around the counter. The ninth and final oven is in Jill's Sandwiches in Paradise Plaza. For cooking a steak or pizza in every oven, you'll get 18,000 PP for the individual bonuses and an additional 10,000 PP for using every oven. This will total 28,000 PP. If you're familiar with Dead Rising, you'll have noticed that most of these early PP bonuses are placed in a natural route you're supposed to progress in Dead Rising's main story. You'll pass through Paradise Plaza, then pass through Leisure Park to the food court where you fight Carlito, then you'll follow Brad through Alfresca Plaza to enter the entrance plaza. These PP bonuses are placed in an elegant way. You can pick them up easily while going through the course of the main story with very little movement off the beaten path. When you first enter Paradise Plaza, you can run to Child's Play and bash the serve pot for the bonus. Then you just rip over to Colombian Roastmasters and use the frying pan before making some early quick steps or stocking up on orange juice. Then on the way to Leisure Park, you can stop by Jill's Sandwiches for the second frying pan. Next, if you really want to, you can head through the North Plaza for an early shotgun from the Hunting Shack. If you're quick, you can get there before Cletus spawns. If you have the inventory space, you should stop by Sion's Food and Stuff to grab two meats or two pizzas, but this is largely optional and dependent on your inventory space. If you do go through the North Plaza, you can then zone down to Wonderland Plaza. You can ride the Space Rider before heading south to take on Carlito in the food court. After you've beaten Carlito, you can quickly shoot all the dishes by using the nearby Uzi, and then use the frying pans in That's a Spicy Meatball and Chris's Fine Foods. If you brought meat or pizza from Sion's, you can quickly throw those in the ovens as well before following Brad into Alfresca Plaza. Brad does take a while to get to the entrance plaza. In the meantime, you can head into Flexin, run on all the treadmills, and then smash the sandbags. Then you can head through Alfresca, but take a stop at Colombian Roastmasters Cafe to heat up the pan on the stove for the last stove bonus. After you're done all that, you can meet up with Brad without issue. Finally, you'll need to kill some time in the entrance plaza for Barricade Pair and a Mother's Lament Scoops. You can use this time to hit up the spinning racks for some extra PP, and then pick up some books and rescue Bill. These early PP bonuses will push you easily from level 1 to level 7. If you rescued Jeff and Natalie at the start of the game, you'll easily be level 8. The only mall PP bonuses that are off the beaten path are the cooked in oven bonuses. 
These are just a little too cumbersome to kind of fit in. To cook something in an oven, you need meat or pizza, and they're only readily available in Sion's food and stuff. Then you gotta haul your groceries to every single oven for the bonuses. Unfortunately, it's just not that convenient to use them. It takes a long time to travel in the early game, and you really have to go out of your way for these ovens. You might be able to incorporate these bonuses in a playthrough, like after you beat Steven, but otherwise, it's a little too out of the way. You will need to eat golden brown pizza and well done steak for the gourmet achievement, and that's really the only time the ovens are worth using. That's all, and now you're a certified Dead Rising PP bonus expert. Engorge your PP, and show everyone online how you did it. Thanks for watching everyone, a special shout out to my Patreon supporters, your support goes a long way with helping the channel out. If you like the Dead Rising content, you can check out the Dead Rising playlist which features multiple video guides on how to rescue all the survivors and how to get all the achievements for the Dead Rising series. It's hours of fun for the whole family. You can also like and subscribe for more Dead Rising content coming. Thanks for watching.